thanks for watching. You just saw the Raider game, and we've got a tech now loaded with stories about the mix of sports and technology. We're going to start with football and the Silicon Valley technology we see every week on the football field. And the ball again, thrown short, rolling catch, good. It's one of the most recognizable parts of any football game. Eli gets this from the Tyree who makes the catch right at the sticks. The virtual first down line. Posture, Eli, posture. And if you've ever wondered where it comes from, meet the people who invented it. Getting ready for football. Silicon Valley Sport Vision uses computers, wires, elbow grease, and more wires to create the line that helps us know what's happening. The casual observer is like, wow, you know, that, you know, I learned something about the game. You know, that's, I'm, I'm looking for that line. That's, you know, teaching me something about the game. And it's not just the line. Sport Vision creates a virtual field on the computer to bring you all sorts of high-tech graphics. Let's look at Tom Brady's pass chart here. You know, Football fans have probably seen the pass chart. He sets up this. Or this pass track all made by a company that proudly keeps a miniature football field in its main warehouse. They love their sports. They're also really good engineers. I'm a sports fan first that likes to dabble in computers. You, know. you just load, fire. The first downline was introduced several years ago. It's since led to different graphic packages used for different sports telecasts. But with football such a huge American pastime, it's the line that gets the most lines. Oh, it, it's the greatest conversation starter. Oh, really? Because, you know, football is the passion, is America's passion, and definitely that's where it, you know, we do a lot of other products here, but football, you know, it grabs everybody's attention. There's enough technology here to make a movie, and they use it all, creating effects, changing them on the fly, and making sure that while they love what they do, first possession of the second half, you're better able to understand what you see. Now, if all those added graphics make the sporting event look a bit like a video game, Tech Now Scott McGrew says that's no accident. 39 cars. So here's NASCAR on NBC using sport vision technology to point out the cars. And here's Electronic Arts NASCAR video game. The game takes advantage of advanced graphics chips to make the cars look real. The telecast of the real thing takes advantage of advanced graphics chips to make the graphics follow the cars. As it turns out, they're the same chip. NVIDIA makes both the chip in your computer that drives the graphics and the chip in Sports Vision's computers that puts graphics on the drivers. Uh, the expectation for high def, really rich interactive graphics is now pervading other markets. And so that's sort of the trend behind what you're seeing on air. In the case of auto racing, Sport Vision fits each car with global positioning satellite receivers like this that transmit the car's position and other telemetry to an on-site TV trailer that contains 20 computers running NVIDIA chips. The computer then examines the camera angles, locates the cars, and you get these little pointers. It really is amazing. These cars are going over 200 miles an hour and uh, you can pinpoint where they are on the track. See Mark Martin here taking the spot. Now, there's a neat side benefit to this pinpointing. Because there's now a computer record of exactly where each car is at any point in the race and telemetry of what the driver is doing, you could export this data and recreate the race as a video game. Take a look at this. A primitive attempt to animate the race as a game. Real life seen in the little box there and the recreation of the exact same thing in the center of your screen. Engineers are still working on the idea, but soon your NASCAR game might allow you to race against the pro racers during the race itself. You at your computer, them at the actual racetrack. Video games meet TV. 260 is the max that they can have. Sport Vision was born after Fox Sports started televising hockey games. They were the ones who added the blue glow to the hockey puck. Hockey fans did not like it, but the idea of adding live action graphics to sports seemed logical and the company was born. 